What's up, Tomism here, and today we're going to talk about some mobile ham radio. So that's what we're doing. So uh, what's up everybody, Tomism here, uh, also in for NFM, uh, and uh, we're out playing radio today. Uh, today I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to show uh, just a, a quick overview of the mobile installation uh, of uh, a VHF UHF radio, uh, which is the Kenwood uh, D710G, uh, and uh, also an HF radio, which is the Yaesu FT891. So uh, anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, uh, we've got both a VHF, UHF dual band radio uh, mounted in a vehicle as well as an HF uh, radio. So uh, if you have radios, you need antennas. Uh, so uh, for the VHF, UF, UHF side, uh, we've gone with the tram uh, NMO uh, mount uh, that's uh, lip mounted to the trunk of the vehicle. Uh, it, uh, it works great, uh, gets out really great on simplex, uh, especially when we're up in the mountains. Uh, you pick up lots of stations uh, out there in the simplex uh, when you get that high elevation. Uh, so it, uh, it works great. Um, and uh, on the, uh, the HF side, uh, we've chosen to go with a ham stick. Uh, so ham sticks are, uh, you know, th th there's positives and negatives. Uh, the positives are is that they're resonant uh, on the band uh, that, uh, that they're designed for. The downside is that you need a different ham stick for each band that you want to operate on. So this is a 20 meter ham stick uh, and uh, it works great. Uh, for, for a mobile, uh, I've spoken with stations uh, all over Europe and all over the U.S. Uh, so uh, it, it just works great. Um, you can also get um, in different bands, 80 meters, uh, 40 meters, 20, 17, 10, 6 meters, etc. Um, and all you do is you just um, you, you, you tune each antenna or tune each ham stick once um, and uh, you're good to go from there. You just uh, swap them out on the mount. So, so anyway, that's what we're doing. All right, so we got the trunk open now, and uh, one more thing I want to mention is that uh, uh, with uh, with any antenna system, uh, especially on HF, it's important uh, that you, uh, you you ground and, and bond that uh, to your vehicle. So um, you can see this. Hopefully, you can see this steel braid here um, going down into uh, inside of the car there. So what that does uh, is really helps with your noise floor, uh, grounding your antenna system, uh, but make sure that you do it to the body of the vehicle. Um, and uh, you know, it's gotta be through paint and everything. Uh, and really, you, uh, to get you know, great HF performance, uh, you really need to kind of bond the entire vehicle together. Uh, but that's a whole other video, um, and you can search uh, for other people who can show you how to do that. Inside the vehicle, uh, let's see if we can focus there. There we go. Um, it's uh, really important, uh, especially if you're going to run higher powers, um, you know, more than you know, 15 watts or so. Um, you know, maybe 25 watts. Uh, you really shouldn't uh, use your cigarette lighter. Uh, it's, a, it's a power source, so uh, it's really important to uh, to, to wire uh, directly to the battery. Uh, most vehicles uh, have a uh, an access port uh, under the dash that you can get through. Uh, so just kind of look up, uh, you know, in your vehicle where that may be. Um, there's probably going to be a big bundle of wires. Uh, uh, so you're going to have to fish it through, uh, but uh, you're really wiring it to the battery is the way to go. Okay, so in my setup, um, I also run um, a, um, a watt meter, uh, a power meter, um, that uh, just really gives me a, a lot of good information. Um, you don't have to do this, uh, but, but I like to know um, when I'm running my radios uh, how much uh, I'm drawing off the battery, what my amp draw is. Uh, you can see right now uh, zero amps are being pulled from the battery, uh, and uh, the car's off, so uh, our battery's at about 12.7 volts. So you know, it gives you information about the car and uh, your radios as well. All right, so from that watt meter, uh, that, that feeds into a, a fused uh, power distribution board uh, that has uh, Anderson connector, connectors on it. Um, and we've got uh, Anderson connectors on the, uh, the power cords uh, for both of the radios that we have here uh, in the vehicle. Uh, and we plug them into uh, that power distribution board. I also have an external speaker connected to each radio. Um, I just have some inexpensive, um, you know, 20-something dollar um, uh, Bearcat speakers. Uh, they work really great, though. Uh, and I really recommend that in your mobile, especially if you've uh, mounted the, the rigs under the seat like I have, uh, the, uh, the speakers down there really just won't make the trip, uh, especially uh, when you're at speed. Uh, so definitely uh, check into an external speaker. Um, I've just sacrificed my cup holders for mine. All right, so this is our Kenwood D710G. Uh, we've got it mounted um, down here. Um, let's see if we can uh, kind of show you in the vehicle. Um, there we go. So it's uh, it's mounted right here um, below the dash, uh, below all my controls. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it really fits in here 
go ahead and power it up there and uh you know it really just fits right in uh with the ergonomics of the vehicle uh it's great to have a detachable head unit um and all the wires uh are just running basically uh you know down through the console and uh under the seat uh to uh, to where the radio is mounted so uh, everything is hidden except for this head unit uh, for our vhs setup Okay, so uh, mounted up here on the dash is the uh, head unit for the Yaesu FT891, and uh, it, um, it it fits great right there up on the dash. Uh, you can see here it's uh, you know if, if you're driving, you got great visibility to it. Uh, it's it's pretty easy to reach, and uh, you know again great to have a detachable head unit uh, to be able to mount your rig. Um, this one is actually mounted on uh, some Velcro strips, uh, so it's uh, detachable, and I can remove the head unit from the dash uh, if I'm parked somewhere where I uh, don't want it obvious uh, that you know I've got a radio or you know, something that might be expensive in the vehicle. Okay, so that's basically it. That's just a quick overview of uh, how we run mobile uh, in the vehicle here. This is November 4, November Foxtrot Mike Mobile.